Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I just wanted to do a quick little um, patio tour here for you guys. I tried to do this video yesterday and my camera died on me and so the video wasn't saved or anything like that so I'm redoing it. It was a nice beautiful sunny afternoon yesterday and I think it's going to be a sunny day today. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what's going on for um, as we're getting ready for fall now. You can see a couple trays of sphagnum moss here. It's really loving it outside. Loves the cooler weather. We have had a lot of rain. We had our first winter storm this week. And we probably, I don't know, we got so much rain. It was just, it was wet. You can see we've worked on that side of the, the um, pond already. But there's the ferns that we haven't removed yet. All those ferns die back every year anyway. So if we remove them, we don't have to worry about removing dead mush and stuff like that in winter or come springtime. The koi are still out here. I moved the turtle in yesterday. In fact, I moved the turtle in just like before I started the video yesterday that didn't work out. So hopefully he's happy down there. I haven't even checked yet this morning. It's, I don't even think it's nine o'clock yet. The palm trees and everything are still out. I have moved out some cymbidiums. Um, there's a few on the ground down there. As I said, from the wind, the plants went flying. That's actually a cymbidium pot right there. Well, that's where it landed. It just went flying off there. But yeah, they're out getting their um, fall chill now. A lot of plants are. I've moved some other orchids into the um, temperate greenhouse as well. Um, Collagenies and stuff like that. A few dendrobium nobilis. But yeah, so there's some down there. My cobra lilies have moved away from the pond because the pond doesn't get a whole lot of sun now, so they can stay out here a little bit longer. My cypripediums are out here. And again, they were out in the rain, which is not good for them at all. So now they're under cover. You can already see next year's growth coming up. So I have to um, watch that. But they're already under cover now, and they won't get a whole lot more water until they start to grow again. Decent orchids are still out here as well. This one did a funny flowering. It has like, I don't even know what's going on there. It's polaric anyways, polaric. Um, all the other dieses are, are finished now. We have a few seed pods, so that's kind of nice. And there'll be a lot of dividing this year. Lots, these pots really filled up. I always tend to do maintenance when we're um, talking here. And my um, king sundews are still outside as well. And so this is the south wall, so they get quite a bit of sun in the daytime. As I say, it's still early morning, but um, yeah, so that's the way that looks. I have this nice little um, transitional patio thing that has the clear curtains that, as of yesterday when I was filming, had a bunch of orchids in. And then, as I say, the video didn't go very well. So the orchids end up getting moved into the other greenhouse anyways to do their cooling. Um, our nighttime lows when it's clear like this are about seven to nine degrees when it's cloudy our nighttime lows are about 12 degrees so there's no chance of frost or snow or anything like that some parts of canada are actually getting snow excuse the um, kids toys the joys of having a two-year-old your um, videos never look as clean anymore but um yeah so until there's any chance of frost i'm not too worried and then that temperate greenhouse will um make the sort of difference there if it's if it does happen to have some frost out here maybe in another month or so um, or in December then that greenhouse will still be frost free all the fuchsias are still in bloom out here and I see my toad lily is in bloom I'm not gonna be able to get to it but um, there's my toad lily it's always like the latest thing to come into flower it like flowers just before it um, just before fall or just before anyways it's an interesting little lily it's done quite well there but yeah, so starting to do some fall maintenance and the koi are going to be coming in soon. They're still reasonably active, but um, we store them inside for the winter. Come November, there can be minks that kind of come around the area. And um, I don't know anything that can stop minks from, from getting their fish if they really want them. So anyways, they'll, they'll come in soon. Last note, there's the greenhouse there and i put a big piece of um poly or vinyl plastic up on the roof like one big sheet and all the vents are deactivated now 
and yeah so it just sort of seals it up tight for the winter time so no drips can get in there through the vents or anything like that i guess we might as well finish this little tour the bananas i chopped down already they're in the compost the bergmansias they did okay this year they're a little bit yellow i don't think they got enough fertilizer but um they have another set of blooms about um come out on them up there what else oh my palm tree i have two male palm trees which was a bit of a bummer but um this year my male palm tree had one frond that produced about 20 percent was female flowers so it pollinated and i have some seeds i read about that on wikipedia or somewhere i did some research as to how and why and occasionally i guess the male palm trees at least of um this species do that every once in a while so i'll have some seeds so that's kind of cool all the other palm fronds or sorry all the other palm whatever they are spikes are gone i might have said fronds earlier anyways all the other spikes are gone because they were just male flowers and once they were done with their pollen they just sort of withered and died but that one's remaining healthy because it's got the seeds on it so there's a bunch of seeds there what else do we got the taros are doing nicely are we still zoomed in yeah a little bit the banana is doing great it stands a very very tall this leaf here is is way above my head i can get to that but those ones up there are, i don't know five feet above my head maybe more it's probably 12 or 14 feet tall so yeah other than that a few other palm tree seedlings sarcinias a bit more of my sphagnum moss cultures and yeah that's about it for going on out here it's funny i say this every year but um the taros always look so good they have no idea that um, winter is coming they just keep going and going and going until if we left them out here frost would or or freezing would take care of them unlike um temperate plants like the hostas the hostas they they know that um winter is coming they're starting to all go dormant and stuff like that. I see a lot of yellow leaves on them and dying back and that sort of thing. It's really interesting to compare the two because at first glance they look so similar in the middle of summer. But um, anyway, yeah, so why don't we head into the greenhouse now and see what's going on in there. So I'll end this video, but um, let's have a look in the greenhouse. 